Swami, thank you for being here with us today. And I understand that you have written a children's book. You know what happened was, <laughs> it was two years ago, in an idle moment I picked up The Wizard of Oz. Mm. And I got as far as the yellow brick road, which is right at the beginning, and suddenly the thought came to me, why don't I write a children's book? And I started writing, I didn't know where I was going, and, uh, and in two weeks I had it written. Or I should say it was written through me. But the story concerns myself and my brother, where I was, we were both born in Romania, and we used to vacation out in the Carpathian Alps mm -hmm. and uh, Transylvanian Alps. And uh, we used to go out into the forest. And so that part of it is true. The rest will be as true as people would like it to be. But what we discovered in the story was a ruined laboratory. And uh, we found a tunnel in the back and we went into this tunnel. First of all, we went part way and became afraid because we were, it was getting darker and darker and we came back and we came back with a candle the next day and we were sitting outside and my brother saw a large skeleton in the bushes on the other side of the clearing. Yeah, I think, is that what we see here on the cover? Yes. Yeah. And uh, we went over, we found it was a dinosaur. Oh. And the amazing thing was that it still had some raw flesh on it. That didn't seem possible. Anyway, we went through this tunnel that day and we found there was a point where we couldn't go back because we were, get, we were getting smaller and smaller and we were afraid. But we had to go forward and there was a light that was coming from inside and we became so small that a piece of dust looked like boulders. And then planets started to look like stars. And finally we became reduced to nothing and a large sphere of light formed around us. And from there we went out the other end of the tunnel into timelessness. And there we found somebody who had been asleep for five years and we woke him up and he was frightened to death to know that the dinosaur that we'd seen, seen the dinosaur, we said, no, it's dead. What had happened was he had, you could go from that point forward and backward in time. And they went, he went back to the Mesozoic era with dinosaurs. And one thing was that if you grip anything with your hands, with your knees, it comes with you when you come back to this time of entry. And, uh, he was riding this dinosaur when a Tyrannosaurus rex came charging at him. And of course he was, the Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't charging him, it was charging his dinosaur. To him he might have been a flea. <laughs> but uh, he was gripping this thing and he went through and there was a thing, if you go too fast, then you break what is called the time barrier, mm -hmm. as planes go through the sound barrier. Right. And so he broke through the time barrier and there was this great explosion and he suddenly found himself at his place and the dinosaur was thrown forward through the tunnel. He was thrown backward into unconsciousness. And so he lay there for five years until the boys woke him up. In timelessness it meant nothing. So anyway, with him they go backwards and forwards. They went back to the time of William Tell, to the time of Atlantis, to the time of Egypt and how the pyramid was built and backwards at other times, Diogenes and so on. Then they went forward to another age in the future and then it ends at another age a thousand years from now. But it's a fascinating romp. Now I see on the cover is a picture here of you and your brother. Yeah. And did you and your brother love dinosaurs? No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But I can tell that you loved writing this book. I loved writing the book. It was great fun. Yeah. So is there a bigger message for an there's older reader? Of, <laughs> there's a lot of teaching in there. Right. You see, when I write philosophy, mm -hmm. I have to write seriously. Right. In this book, I could say things I believe, but can't justify rationally. Oh, how fun. So I could say many things here. In fact, it's a very deep book. So in the over 100 and... How many books have you written? 141. 141 books. How many children's books have you written? One. Would you say on and the scale of 141 also, books, is this one one of your favorites? It is. Oh. 
It is. It'll come out very soon mm -hmm. in paperback. Then we'll put it out in hardcover. It'll come out in September or October of this year. And I think it'll be a bestseller. Yeah, I think so too. Is there anything else you want us to know about this book called The Time Tunnel? I would say that if you buy it for your children, buy an extra one for yourself, because otherwise you'll <laughs> find yourself stealing it from your children. <laughs> It's really, everybody who has read it is absolutely fascinated by it. Yeah. I love the stories that you're telling me about it. Thank you so much, Swami. Thank you.